Hey everyone, Pastor Paul Krampitz. I'm coming to you uh, as usual from my study here at Bethany Lutheran Church in Cromwell, Connecticut. And uh, this is part of the uh, series on Luther's Small Catechism, the study edition. Uh, we are working our way through the Lord's Prayer, and today we are going to talk about the fourth petition, uh, one of my favorite petitions. Um, so as a reminder for those of you that uh, may just be tuning into this session without having heard the previous ones, the introduction, Our Father in Heaven, Petition 1, Hallowed Be Your Name, Petition 2, Your Kingdom Come, Petition 3, Your Will Be Done on Earth as in Heaven, and now today, the fourth petition, Give Us Today Our Daily Bread. What is this? Luther says, in fact, God gives daily bread without our prayer, even to all evil people. But we ask in this prayer that God come, cause us rather, to recognize what our daily bread is and to receive it with thanksgiving. And Luther goes on, what then does daily bread mean? Luther says, everything included in in the necessities and nourishment for our bodies, such as food, drink, clothing, shoes, house, farm, fields, livestock, money, property, an upright spouse, upright children, upright members of the household, upright and faithful rulers, good governments, good weather, peace, health, decency, honor, good friends, faithful neighbors, and the like. So Luther sees in daily bread really all the things that we need for life in this world, for our physical well-being. Um, so it's an exhaustive list. One of the things that I, I love about this petition is the way that it reckons back to the wilderness stories of God's people wandering um, in that wilderness on their way to the promised land. God provided for their daily physical needs. And one of the ways God did was with manna, this uh, bread-like substance that would be collected each morning. And the instructions were to collect only what was needed for that day, not to store it, but the idea being to trust that God would provide manna in a similar fashion the next day. Praying for daily bread and not for a, an accumulation of bread or a, a stockpile of the necessities of life is really a prayer of trust. It's praying for our immediate needs and trusting that just as God provides for us in this day, God will continue to provide for us uh, the next day and indeed all the days of our lives. The other thing that comes to mind for me in this is that daily bread um, is necessities. And one of the things that it's so easy for us to confuse is the difference between needs and wants. Now, this prayer is for necessities, things that are needed for us in this life. Advertisers do a really good job of convincing us that the things we might want, um, we need. <laughs> we need a, a particular kind of car. We need to uh, wear particular types of clothes or to have particular kinds of uh, jewelry or whatever. Um, and it's kind of an insidious thing. I understand that advertisers have a job and, and companies need to make a profit, but a really good spiritual discipline is being able to discern between our needs and our wants. And I'm not suggesting that we shouldn't satisfy our wants, but just be aware of the difference and recognizing, you know, that, that some things we, we can do without if we have to. We live in a, a culture now which seems to be uh, um, obsessed with instant gratification and uh, acquiring lots of things and and it actually becomes a problem for some people that they just have so much um, and, and their possessions, in a sense, began to possess them. So the simple prayer of praying for daily bread, 
reminds us that we pray that God would provide the necessities we need for this day, trusting, in fact, that God would provide them anyway. But when we pray this prayer, we are reminding ourselves of where all of those things come from. Ultimately, they are provided by God. Until next time, Pastor Paul saying goodbye and God bless.